Hi, third grade, it's Mrs. Prost, and we're going to do some more adding numbers on the number line. So our learning goal today is, I can use an open number line to add. And today we're going to do something called a problem string. A problem string is a group of problems that we will solve one at a time. The problems that are at the beginning help with the later problems. Um, doing problem strings helps you think like a mathematician because it allows you to think of all of these clever ways to solve problems. So let's begin. We're going to start with a simple problem 28 plus 3. So I'm going to put a 28 at the beginning of my open number line. And we're going to pretend that we don't know the answer to 28 plus 3. So one thing that is really helpful when you're adding on a number line is to get yourself to a friendly number or what I also like to call a nice neat number. And those are numbers that end in 0. So if I start at 28, the closest friendly number is 30. So I know that it takes me two jumps to get to 30. Okay, so 30 is our friendly number because it ends in a zero, it's easy to add numbers to it, and it's a nice, neat, friendly number. So we needed to add three, and we've added only two. So we need to add one more. So one more jump takes us to 31. So 28 plus 3 equals 31. And now I'll erase my work and we'll do the next problem in our uh, problem string. Also, I meant to say at the beginning, um, I would love for you to have a piece of paper and pencil so that you could do these with me. So um, go ahead and pause me. Make sure you grab a pencil and paper and you can draw these along with me. And if I move too fast, you can pause. Okay, so hopefully now you've got your pencil and your paper and you're ready for our next problem. It's 28 plus seven. So I'll put the 28 at the beginning of our open number line. Now the first thing that I want to do is get to a nice neat number, a friendly number. So what is the closest friendly number? And it's 30 because that's the closest number that has a zero at the end. So I know I only need two to get me to 30. So I've added 2, but I needed to add 7. So if I need to add 7 and I've only added 2, how many more do I need to add? And the answer is 5. So I'll just make a jump of 5 here. And now I've landed at 35. So 28 plus 7 equals 35. Okay. Moving on to our next one, 28 plus 13. So I will start at 28. And I want to get to a nice, neat, friendly number. And that number would be 30 because it's the closest number that has a zero. So I'll jump two and I'll get to 30. So I need to add 13, but I've only added two. So there are a couple of things I could do right now. If I know that 13 minus two equals 11, I could jump 11. Or if I'm more comfortable just jumping a 10 first, I can do that too. So if I'm at 30 
and I jump 10, now I land at 40. So I needed to add 13, and I've added 2 and 10, which makes 12. So how many more do I need to add? One more. Okay, so let's make sure that I added 13. I added 10 plus 2 plus 1, which definitely means 13. So 28 plus 13 equals 41. All right, moving right along here. <clears throat> Our next problem is 39 plus 4. So I will begin here at 39 and I want to get to a nice, neat, friendly number. What is the closest number to 39 that is friendly? And the answer is 40. So to get to 40, I just need to jump one and I'm at 40. But I know that I really needed to add four. I've added one, so how much more do I need to add in order to get to four? And that would be three more. So I jump three more, and 40 plus three is 43. So 39 plus four equals 43. We've got two more to go. And remember, if I'm moving too fast, just pause me in between so that you can draw these number lines with me. All right, 39 plus 14. I'll start at 39. And I want to jump to a nice friendly number. That number would be 40. So I start here, I add one, now I'm at friendly 40. So I've added one, but I really need to add 14. So how many more do I need to add? I need to add 13 more. I know that I can split up 13 between, with a 10 and a three. So I'll start at 40 and I'll jump 10. That gets us to 50. So I've added 11, and in order to make sure I add 14, I need to add three more. 50 plus three equals 53. So let's check on top to make sure that I definitely added 14 to 39. So 10 plus three is 13, Add one more is 14, so I checked and I'm definitely sure that I added 14. 39 plus 14 equals 53. And we have one more final problem. 39 plus 23. and I will think about which number is the closest, friendly, nice, neat number to 39, and that is 40. So I jump one, get myself to 40. Now I needed to add 23, and I've only added one so far, so I know I need to add 22 more. So what I'll do is I'll break 22 up into 20 and two. So if I'm at 40 and I do a big jump of 20, where will I land? 40 plus 20 equals 60. Now let's take a look up top to see what I've added. I've added 20 and one, so I've added 21, but I needed to add 23. So how much more do I need to add? And the answer is two. All right, let's check the top and make sure we definitely added 23. 
We've got 20 plus 2 is 22, plus 1 more is 23. And we landed at 62. So 39 plus 23 equals 62. Now I know that lots of you and probably your parents are thinking that this is absolutely nuts. Why are we adding numbers in this way when we could use that easy old fashioned way? And the reason is when we take the time to use these different models and strategies, it helps us to understand math concepts at a higher level. And so when you get into older grades, you will have a much deeper understanding of numbers and how they work because you've taken this time to deeply understand how to add and what the numbers mean, the tens place, the ones place. So um, even though this is crazy, seeming and I know it's hard to make the number lines and make the jumps I really want you to give it a try and stick with it because I have found that as an adult after I learned math this way I've actually gotten better at adding numbers in my head so there really is um, value to adding numbers this way and also please send a message to your homeroom teacher whether that's me or Mrs. Klein or Mrs. Schaefer, and tell us that the secret word for today is hippopotamus. And we are going to have so much fun reading your messages to see how you spelled hippopotamus. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you later. Bye, Summit Stars.